this tutorial, I'm going to show you a method for analyzing and optimizing shading devices, uh, particularly fixed shading devices, to um, exclude sun when it's not needed or a, a zone that has a potential to overheat and to admit sun when uh, the sun or the heat is wanted. In this, I'm going to take a look at Worcester Hall here, which I have a pre-built SketchUp model of. And you can see I'm going to use the zone that we've been working on so far, room 214, which is at this corner here. This corner sits at the west and north faces of the building. And it's actually the whole building, you can see here, uh, true north is here. And um, if I measure with a protractor, I can measure what the, the angle is. In the bottom right-hand corner, it says it's 10.2 degrees off. So, um, so my west facade is 10.2 degrees off of cardinal direction. I'm going to take that information and go over to Climate Consultant, where I've got the sun path diagram. And the sun path diagram here is set to December through June. And um, I can set my shading display to be uh, 10 degrees, um, 10 degrees, what was it, 10 degrees south of west. These are 15 degree increments, so I'm going to set it to be about there, be about 10 degrees south of west. And so I can see what that facade, that primary facade, let me show you the sketchup model here. This primary facade is now this, which means it's getting sun uh, for from about 11 a.m. or 11:15 11, 11 in December and 11:45 in June, and there's only a tiny a bit amount of um, degrees that are likely to be too warm in um, was this late March, early April. Uh, this band here. And um, if I look to June through December, you can see that actually there's a whole lot more warm days in this half of the year. So I'm going to concentrate on this half right now. I also see that uh, there's some sun, or if there is sun available, the temperatures outside are relatively cool in uh, September or October through December. So I might want to have sun in those periods. So essentially, right about September 21st is a good place to cut off. Now that is a pretty uh, steep angle, and I can tell that because the um, these lines here are the projected profile angle of the of the facade. And what I mean by that, we can look at this facade already, which has some shading devices on it. The angle from the sill here to the leading edge of the overhang, that's called the profile angle. And I can tell what that profile angle is uh, from the horizontal there uh, with this protractor tool. So I'm going to click and drag perpendicular to the uh, direction I want to measure. And I want to measure from here to there. And in the bottom right, it says it's 43.5 degrees. So that 43.5 degrees is equivalent to about that much shading that we're getting right now. Do you see how I did that? So this would be 90 degrees of shading, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40. And we're, we, we're currently at 43 degrees. So that means that this shading device is, is uh, shading all of these hours of sun, which is relatively effective. It's just the late afternoon here from about 3.30 in the summer, 3.30 on, that uh, where sun is admitted. And in, the, um, in September, in the equinox, we're seeing it, it's about 2.15 or so. So if we wanted to shade that um, this time as well, we'd need to have a deeper overhang. Of course, as you get deeper and deeper and deeper, now we're shading most of the sun, 
but to have a 20 degree overhang would mean practically we would need, um, so you had to do this. I'm going to click this. I'm going to press on my, um, my rotation tool, this guy, and I'm going to uh, drag out perpendicular. I'm going to click on the end and press control. And now I can move that line. I'm going to click uh, 20 degrees. And you can see just how long that would be. I'm going to extend this by uh, going to the end, pressing shift. And that pink line is going to extend that. And now I can take this shading device and uh, by clicking in and pressing uh, the push-pull tool, this guy, can move it out to that um, the end of that extension, which is somewhere around there. You can see just how long that overhang would need to be to shade all of that. Just a little bit impractical for in this particular case. You can see that is a 11 foot eight inch overhang. Let's return this overhang back to where it was and return the sun path diagram back to reflect that. And then let's take a look at these vertical fins. So these vertical fins also shade this window and we can figure out just how much by taking the uh, angle from one corner of the window to the uh, leading edge of the fin. So I'm going to draw a line out to the, the fin, the leading edge, and a diagonal back to the window. And this is the angle that complete would completely shade that window. If you draw the angle back to the middle of the window, like that, of course you get a different angle, um, and that's going to shade half of the window. Both are relevant and useful. Uh, let's look at the whole window for now, and then we'll look at the half. So the whole window, the um, angle, I want to measure it in plan. So I'm going to click and drag and then measure from here to here is 19.5 degrees. And if I measure from the middle of the window, I get 34.2 degrees. So let's look at 19.5 first. Let's just call it 20 degrees. And to show the effect of these fins, I can move these circles that are at the um, above the triangles. And I want to move this um, 20 degrees. So that is 15 degrees, and that's just about 20 degrees. So you can see that with this overhang, this fin is uh, not going to shade that the whole window. Um, if I look at, what was the other angle? I forgot already. It was 34.2, uh, so that would be 15, 30, somewhere around here. Uh, we're just beginning to shade the late, the uh, mid-afternoon December sun, uh, but it's really not doing very much on this west facade. If we didn't have these overhangs at all, in other words, if this were like that, you can see that that fin does provide a whole lot of shade um, just for the uh, middle of the day. But actually, that overhang, that horizontal overhang at 43 degrees is providing a lot more shade um, a lot further into the afternoon, and this fin is really not doing very much.